The film begins by showing a young boy named Xiao, who finds himself trapped in a prison. However, he manages to pass a special experiment that transforms his body, giving him incredible strength. Xiao is able to bend the iron bars of his cell with ease, thanks to the newfound power he has gained from the experiment. Meanwhile, a man named Mick watches from a distance, observing Xiao's development with great interest. Years later, Mick has become a renowned businessman and scientist, thanks to his groundbreaking work in developing a revolutionary chip that can cure all human diseases. Mick holds a press conference to announce his new invention to the world, but things take an unexpected turn when a woman named Lela challenges the safety of Mick's chip. She questions whether the users of Mick's chip can be easily controlled by him, raising concerns about the potential dangers of such a powerful device. Despite Lela's concerns, Mick ignores her question and continues his presentation about his chip in front of the guests. Suddenly, chaos erupts as the event's security team is attacked by a mysterious man named Enoch, who is intent on stealing the three main codes to activate Mick's chip. The press conference is forced to come to an abrupt halt, as the guests flee the building in fear. As Lela makes her way out of the hall, she realizes that Enoch, whom she had photographed earlier, is the same man who killed her parents when she was a child. The revelation leaves her stunned and unsure of what to do next. Meanwhile, Enoch successfully steals the codes from Mick's company, leaving him enraged and shaken. Mick's assistant, Yao, tries to calm him down and suggests they use their secret weapon, none other than Xiao, the boy whose incredible strength Mick had once observed. Sometime later, we see an adult Xiao being held in a high-security prison for the most dangerous criminals. However, Mick orders his release on parole, tasking him with a mission that only Xiao is capable of carrying out. Before his imprisonment, Xiao worked as a hitman for Mick, but he escaped with his wife. Unfortunately, Xiao was caught by Mick again and thrown back into prison. However, taming Xiao was no easy feat. He continued to rebel and managed to escape from Mick's troops without getting so much as a scratch. Xiao proved to be a master of tactical driving and used the weapons stored in his car to evade Rich, Mick's right-hand man, and his troops. Despite Xiao's impressive driving skills and arsenal, Rich and his team eventually cornered him, and he was captured once again. Xiao regains consciousness in Mick's headquarters and sees his wife and daughter in a separate room. As he looks at them, he realizes that he left his wife while she was pregnant with their daughter, leaving her to raise their child alone. Suddenly, Mick appears and assigns Xiao a new mission, using the safety of his family as leverage. He threatens to harm Xiao's wife and daughter if he refuses to comply. Trapped and with no other option, Xiao reluctantly agrees to work for Mick once again, knowing that he must become the most lethal assassin in the world. Mick then explained his mission to Xiao. The skilled hitman was tasked with retrieving three stolen codes that were now in the possession of his old colleagues, Enoch and Mr. Mo. Xiao was also given files to aid him in his search for the codes. While studying the CCTV footage from the time of the theft, Xiao noticed a woman named Lela who had interacted with Enoch. Intrigued, he decided to gather more information about her from his old friend Basio, who turned out to be a hacker capable of tracking down people through the internet. But when Xiao arrived at Basio's hiding place, he found his friend afraid and hesitant to help him. Eventually, Basio agreed to help and used his hacking skills to uncover Lela's location. With this new lead, Xiao set out to find Lela and uncover her connection to Enoch and the stolen codes. As Xiao waits for Basio to locate Lela's whereabouts, he becomes increasingly anxious about his mission. He knows that he must retrieve the stolen codes from his old colleagues, Enoch and Mr. Mo, but he's not sure how to approach them. Xiao is counting on Lela to lead him to Enoch, but he can't shake off the feeling that something might go wrong. On the other hand, Lela is having a terrible night. She thought that attending the party of rich people would be a fun night out, but her boss's lecherous behavior ruined everything. She wants to leave, but her boss keeps plying her with drinks, making her feel trapped. As the night wears on, Lela becomes increasingly desperate to escape. Luckily, Xiao arrived just in time at the party. He scanned the crowd and finally spotted Lela. He approached her with urgency, but Lela resisted, not willing to be dragged off by a stranger. She fought back, but as she struggled, she caught sight of the mark on Xiao's neck. It was the same mark as the person who killed her parents. Suddenly, Lela's demeanor changed, and she allowed Xiao to take her to safety. Once at Lela's house, Xiao demanded to know about Enoch's whereabouts. At first, Lela was uncooperative, but as Xiao searched her house, he stumbled upon a secret room. After discovering Lela's secret room, Xiao learns about her true identity as a CIA agent investigating superpowered humans like himself and Enoch. Despite their initial hostility towards each other, Xiao convinces Lela to team up with him to take down Enoch and avenge her parents' death. They both realize that they need each other's unique abilities to defeat Enoch, who is a formidable superhuman. Meanwhile, unbeknownst to Xiao, Mick uses his wife as an experimental subject and injects a chip into her neck. The installation process goes smoothly, and Mick even has officials from other countries present to witness the live broadcast from his lab. However, Xiao remains unaware of this development, and his focus is on tracking down Enoch and retrieving the stolen codes. Meanwhile, Xiao and Lela had arrived at a city located on the outskirts of China in search of Enoch. 
Lela, equipped with sophisticated government tools, managed to track Enoch's existence by breaking into all the CCTV cameras in the city. However, Enoch was aware of their presence and fled. Sia, not one to give up easily, immediately pursued Enoch but he vanished into the crowded streets. Undeterred, Enoch attempted to return to his hideout, but Sia had already discovered it. A fierce fight ensued, but Enoch managed to escape on a stolen motorcycle. During the brawl, Enoch had secretly paired a bomb with Sia's watch, which would explode as soon as Sia was away from Enoch. As Sia chased after him, he was forced to steal a motorbike from one of the residents to continue the pursuit. Finally, the two of them reached the road at the edge of a cliff. Xiao and Enoch were faced with a deadly obstacle. An avalanche had covered the road. Enoch, backed into a corner, made the unexpected decision to jump off the road. However, before he fled, he activated the bomb in the watch that he had secretly paired with Xiao's own, causing it to explode. Despite the danger, Xiao managed to retrieve the main code he was after, while Lela successfully avenged her parents' deaths by defeating Enoch. With the main code in hand, Xiao left Lela behind to make her own way back on foot as he had stolen her car. However, Lela was quickly ambushed by several cars belonging to Mix men. They had orders to eliminate her, as she knew too much about Mix experiments on humans with superpowers. Fortunately, Xiao returned just in time to rescue Lela from the attackers and save her life. As Xiao and Lela continued to flee from Mix men, Xiao explained to Lela that she needed to be protected because she had valuable information about his mission. Despite being grateful for the rescue, Lela couldn't help but feel uneasy about the danger she had unwittingly stumbled into. Meanwhile, at Mix Lab, he received a report from Yao that the chip implanted in Xiao's wife's neck had malfunctioned due to a system failure caused by an internal breach. Realizing that there was a spy within his team, Mick gathered all of his staff for an investigation. After a thorough examination of their computers and tools, Mick finally discovered that Mr. Mo had sent a spy agent to sabotage his plans. The revelation only fueled Mick's determination to carry out his mission, and he began to plan his next move. Mick's ruthless actions continued as he mercilessly shot Mr. Mo's spy agent in a fit of anger and betrayal. Meanwhile, Shui, the father of Xiao, was contacted by Mr. Mo who revealed that he didn't have much time left due to a deadly disease. Shui and Mr. Mo were both scientists who had stolen Mick's main code in opposition to his chip research. With Mr. Mo's time running out, Shui could only listen helplessly. At the same time, Xiao and Lela made their way to Mr. Mo's headquarters to retrieve one of the last two main codes. Upon arrival, Mr. Mo greeted Xiao warmly, and they discussed the purpose of their mission, which was to oppose Mick's chip research. Mr. Mo revealed that the inhabitants of the Earth were in grave danger due to Mick's creations. However, Xiao's family was being held captive by Mick, which put him in a tough spot. He was forced to oppose Mr. Mo to save his family. As the conversation progressed, Xiao became suspicious of Mr. Mo's behavior. He soon realized that the man standing in front of him was an imposter. Before he could do anything, Mr. Mo's man knocked him unconscious. Not long after, Xiao woke up from being unconscious, he found himself tied up and unable to move. He soon realized that he had been captured by Mr. Mo's men. Meanwhile, Lela, who had the last remaining main code that they had obtained from Enoch, was also taken by Mr. Mo. Mr. Mo then proceeded to show Xiao being tortured by his men as a way to threaten Lela into giving up the main code. Despite Lela's efforts to resist, she was unable to bear seeing Xiao in such a painful state and ultimately gave in to Mr. Mo's demands. She revealed the location where she had kept the main code. However, Xiao's escape from Mr. Mo's clutches was not an easy feat. As he made his way out, he encountered one of Mr. Mo's men who happened to be his best friend. Xiao was forced to fight him as they had different goals. Xiao was determined to retrieve the main code, while his friend was loyal to Mr. Mo. Initially, Xiao was at a disadvantage and was cornered by his friend. He took a beating and seemed to have no hope of victory. However, Xiao's body had a surprising response to the injuries he sustained. His wounds began to regenerate, and his physical toughness increased, giving him the strength to fight back. In the end, Xiao managed to turn the tables on his former friend and emerged victorious. Not long after, Xiao arrived at Mr. Mo's headquarters where he was greeted warmly by Mr. Mo himself. However, their conversation soon took a serious turn as Mr. Mo explained the true danger that the inhabitants of the Earth were facing due to the chips created by Mick. Mr. Mo also revealed that his wife and daughter were being held captive by Mick, which made Xiao determined to help. With the help of Shui, Mr. Mo created a device to destroy the chip system manually from inside Mick's building. Knowing the importance of his mission, Mr. Mo entrusted Xiao with his main code to save his wife and daughter. Mr. Mo, unfortunately, passed away due to a disease he was suffering from. Xiao and Lela then made their way to Shui's lab, where they were greeted by Shui. Upon seeing his son, Shui immediately apologized for his past actions towards Xiao. Despite this, Xiao felt anger towards his father for allowing him to become an experimental subject at a young age. Shui tried to explain that he had no idea that Mick would use his son for such dangerous missions. However, Xiao was too hurt to listen, still carrying the trauma from his past experiences. Shui later revealed that the initial experiment was an attempt to cure Xiao's liver cancer when he was a child, and it was successful. 
who had Mick kidnapped and trained him to become the world's deadliest assassin. Shuei had suggested to Xiao that the three main codes should be handed over to him so that he could use his program to destroy them and thwart Mick's plan to control the world. Xiao agreed and gave the codes to Shuei before leaving the lab with Lela. Though he was filled with sadness, knowing that he had to sacrifice his wife and daughter for the greater good, Lela tried her best to console him. Meanwhile, inside the lab, Shuei worked quickly to destroy the codes, but Mick's men suddenly burst into the room and killed him on the spot. On the other side of town, Xiao and Lela were caught off guard by the attack launched by Mick's men and had to take cover to avoid getting hit. Despite their efforts, they were unable to retrieve the three main codes from Mick's men. After Mick activated his chip, chaos ensued as people began submitting to his every command. Xiao and Lela knew they had to act fast to save the world. They devised a plan to inject Shui's program into the chip control system at Mick's company building. Working together, they split up to infiltrate the building. Lela used her hacker skills to break into the security system while Xiao eliminated guards to secure her path. However, they encountered a major obstacle in the form of Rich, Mick's right-hand man, who had been trying to take out Xiao from the beginning. Despite the danger, Xiao and Lela persevered and managed to make their way to the main room where the chip control system was located. With Shuei's program injected, they successfully disabled Mick's control over humanity. Cornered and under attack, Xiao used his unique shooting skill to take down Rich and ensure they could continue on their mission. After finally making it to the main room, they confronted Mick and his team who were in the midst of activating the chip. With no hesitation, Xiao attacked Mick, but to their surprise, Mick had also transformed his body to have superpowers just like Xiao's. In the midst of their intense battle, Mick revealed to Xiao that his daughter's life was in danger, as she had been placed outside the building by Mick's men. Meanwhile, Lela focused on injecting Shuei's program into Mick's chip control system. Fortunately, the program managed to penetrate the main computer system and restore the freedom of those who had been previously enslaved by the chip in their necks. Mick became furious upon seeing this and launched a brutal attack on Xiao, rendering him unconscious. He then turned to Lela and callously killed her, leaving Xiao devastated and filled with rage. Driven by his fury, Xiao transformed into his superhuman mode and resumed his fight against Mick once more. Despite being previously defeated by Mick, Xiao unleashed his superhuman powers and defeated Mick with ease. He saved his daughter who had been threatened by Mick's men. Meanwhile, Shuei's program successfully created a system that caused the Corsolet Company building to explode. In a desperate attempt to save his daughter, Xiao decides to take a daring leap from the top of the exploding building. The movie ends with Xiao landing on a car roof after making a daring leap from the top of the building. Despite the danger, his action was successful in saving his daughter's life. Later, Xiao moves his finger, revealing that he has survived the fall thanks to his superhuman regenerative powers. The moral of the film is that greed can have devastating consequences, not only for those who seek to benefit from it but also for those around them. It encourages viewers to think about the consequences of their actions and to prioritize empathy and compassion over personal gain.